We're going to multiply a two digit number by a one digit number using the partial product strategy. We're going to line the numbers up vertically similar to the standard or traditional algorithm. Now, unlike the standard algorithm, we're not going to be regrouping any numbers, any ones or tens, but more like the partial sum, we're going to write the values out on each line below, and then we're going to add them back together, or like the area model, but without the square or the rectangle. So I know that five is in the tens place, so it represents 50. And I'm going to multiply that 50 times 6. The 8 is in the ones place, so it represents ones. And we're going to multiply that 8 by 6. Let's write out the products of each of these parts. So 50 times 6, 5 times 6 is 30. 10 times greater is 300. 8 times 6 is 48. Last, you'll have students bring them back together. So 300 plus 48 is 348. The product of 58 times 6 is 348. So again, we want students to make the connection after they practice with area model, but now we're doing it without using the rectangle or the square. We multiplied a two-digit number by a one-digit number using the partial product.